Yingling has been pumping out beer from this Pottsville, Pennsylvania plant longer than any other brewery in America. 182 years surviving a civil war, two world wars, and a little thing called prohibition. If you take a manufacturing facility such as a brewery uh, and, and close it down for 10 years or 15 years, you'll never get it going again. So Dick Yingling's grandfather, himself by then the third generation to run the family-owned brewery, built a dairy across the street making and selling ice cream while at the brewery itself, he switched over and started to make near beer. Which is beer with less than one half of one percent alcohol. A few people realize they also continue to brew some of the real stuff too. You were allowed to make a certain amount of regular beer. It was sold through pharmacies and you had to have a, a doctor's prescription to get a case of beer or porter. When Prohibition ended in 1933, Yingling sent a truckload of beer to President Franklin Roosevelt at the White House as a gesture of thanks. Less than a decade later, though, the brewery faced what was likely a bigger challenge, World War II. You couldn't get gasoline to deliver beer. You couldn't get ingredients. I mean, everything went to the war effort, and you had an allotment, and that was all you were allowed to make. In addition, they couldn't get the cans to put the beer in. You survived almost entirely on returnable bottles, and if you didn't send them back, you didn't get any more beer. If you didn't send them back to us from the distributor, you didn't have any bottles to fill for that guy, so they all made sure you got your bottles back or they didn't get any beer to sell. Selling beer was a problem when Dick Engling took over the plant from his father in 1985. Small family-owned breweries like this were dying off. Dick looked to capitalize on the demand for craft brews by bringing back the company's lager brand, and the rest is history. But as they expand into Ohio, their own history has taught Yingling success isn't exactly measured in cases sold. Our goal more so than how well can you do today is survival and continue this on through the family for generations to come. John Kasich, News Channel 5.